Hi everyone, uh, this video is to show you how to make a cheap uh, bird or dog water feeder. Uh, what I'm showing you here is basically a, a, a solid container. Now, you don't want to use something like this because it, it can collapse and I'll show you in that in a bit. But this has a fairly heavy skin on it. It could be anything, you know, one of those laundry detergent uh, containers or whatever. But it's important to have like a convenient uh, opening at the top that you can close tightly. Now I turned it this way. You can do this on either side. But I'm going to drill a hole. What I've done is fill. This is filled up, and this is filled up to the level that I would like to it to be all the time. It happens that I'll put this in my finch aviary, and the finches can come and stand anywhere on the edge and reach down just a you know half an inch or something to drink some water. So the trick is to have you know a fairly solid container doesn't have to be transparent but if it is you can see the level of the water take a drill and go down to exactly where the water level is that you want and drill a hole I hope this works okay here okay now that's that should take care of it as this water is depleted let's say that this much water is uh, evaporates or is drunk or whatever it'll be a gradual you see the bubbles coming up that means the water is dripping out and it will fill this reservoir up only to the point where the hole is okay so it's real convenient uh, the physics of this is simply that because this is sealed there's a vacuum that's created that's attempting to hold this water up and there's also atmospheric pressure uh, pushing down on this water and uh, basically when the water comes up to this level these two reach equilibrium and this stops draining out so you can just kind of keep an eye on the level of the water and when it gets way too low you just simply fill this thing up again now I'm not going to do it but if I did to fill it back up I would simply unscrew this cap take a funnel or a hose and fill it up. Uh, when you do that, it helps to put your finger over the hole so it just doesn't drain out. Now, if I unscrew this and release the vacuum, all this stuff would drain out. So, in refilling, you block this hole, you unscrew this thing, take your hose, fill it up, put this back on tight, and release it, and there you go. And of course, you can do it outdoors, such as I am doing, or, or you could refill it in the kitchen sink and maybe turn it on its side so it doesn't spill out this hole and bring it to where you want to use it. Now I'll also I'll use something similar to this, a little a little less junky in my, in my kitchen for my dog water. Now I've got a big reservoir to allow them to drink from a lot of areas. A dog could you know simply have a little area like you know a pan much smaller with an area to, to lick and that way it would reduce the amount of de debris that gets in the water. And of course you can wash this out as you see fit. It doesn't hurt to, you know, fill this up separately and have it even overflow. It'll just gradually go down to that equilibrium level. That's basically it. Uh, so that's the end of this video.